buttery smooth. No seatbelts. Is that right? Ooh, she's torquey. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, grazie. Welcome to Crossing It Off, the show where we're completing 50 travel bucket list experiences because the world is big and life is short. We're your hosts, Tim and Finn, and today we're crossing off driving the Amalfi Coast. This episode is sponsored by you. Thank you to the thousands of you who've supported this channel through a purchase of trip travel gear. Whether you're packing for the weekend or you're on a one-way ticket, thanks for taking trips. Maui's beautiful road to Hana, Highway 1 in California, Saigon to Hanoi, Iceland's Ring Road, the Dalton Highway, even a casual ride through the Himalayas. If there's a famous drive, it's usually a must-do for us. The Amalfi Coast ticks all the boxes you could possibly want. Beautiful coastal scenery, check. Charming towns to drive through, double check. An iconic whip that could possibly be more Italian, jiggity jiggity check. Visiting here in late fall, we also managed to skip the infamous summer traffic and blistering heat. Allora! So maybe you've heard of the Amalfi Coast from your friends raving about their trip to Italy, or you've seen pictures of influencers in Positano or celebrities in Capri. Really, all this is is a 50 kilometer stretch of coastline in southern Italy. But here you'll find cliffside lemon groves, villas, colorful buildings, and scenic lookout points. But why we're here today? <laughs> it's the hairpin turns, 100 foot roadside cliffs, full size buses honking as they pass, local waiters speeding to work on Ducatis, and big loud hand gestures and shouting through the construction zones. Benvenuti in Costiera Amalfitana. Welcome to the Amalfi Coast. This is the chalk. Okay, awesome. Now I need the chalk. Sure, chalk, oh, sir. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Torquey. Good job. <laughs> okay, okay. Is that all? Yes, good. I'll get it in like two minutes. I'll be gentle. Yeah, okay, okay you got a B. Plus. Buttery smooth. This thing is so dope. It would probably be charming to go into some beautiful montage along the coast, but the reality and what we share with the reality of travel on our channel is the fact that we have to first get out of Sorrento. This is one of the most crowded places we've driven, which isn't saying that much, but <laughs> learning a new classic car like this ups the challenge. <laughs> I believe in you. You can drive just about everything. <laughs> also, uh, there's no seatbelts. Is that right? You don't need seat belts. Your Where seat. we're going, you don't need seat belts. Your seat is so much farther. Well, I'm really tall. Oh boy. Okay, I'm sorry, this is like on hard mode right away, but this is that weird intersection we saw when we came in. Oh, that's great. There we go. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, now we just wait our turn in line and we're just gonna follow what the people in front of us do. This is easy. This is easy. This is easy. The transmission's difficult. Oh, she's torquey. 
<laughs> I probably should have taken some Dramamine today. <laughs> okay, watch that car on the left. He's watching me. Yeah. At least we look like tourists. No way, we look like locals in this thing. I mean, people <laughs> are driving these, like non-ironically. They're, they're, people are just in this. <laughs> people are like, this is my car. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling, Pepper? Good girl. Oh my gosh. Driving this is very easy. It's like super fun. It's starting and stopping. Yeah. Well done, well done. That was hard. We had the pedestrian crossing and the pizza guy crossing on the hill over a speed bump. That was your second challenge of the day. Huge accomplishment. There's hardly enough room for you to shift in here with like my legs. I know, we're a little leggy for <laughs> we're this We're a little car. leggy for this car. <laughs> I don't think they were built over six feet tall back I, in the day. People weren't, no. The Italians, definitely not. Beep. Oh, the horn's where the horn belongs. Wow. Woo! As expected, the champion prevails. We're Wait, out. let's... <laughs> This is a 1966 Fiat 500. I came in here today thinking this was gonna have 18 horsepower. Sergio corrected me. He's like, it has 17 horsepower. <laughs> so for context, a riding lawnmower, 18 horsepower. Uh, she's torquey though. Definitely a different ride feel. But I'm already so glad we rented this thing. Woo, okay, now. Welcome to the beautiful Amalfi Coast. Probably should mention that it is late September while we're recording this video because in the summer it would not really be possible to drive right through Positano like this. Um, Positano is a beautiful, beautiful vacation town here. Our new friend Sergio at the car rental place actually said that late September, early October is his favorite time to do this sort of drive and you saw all the cars and bikes he has because uh, the crowds are dead but the weather's still really nice. Woo. Oh no, it's a bus standoff. Common here is to take the bus, not drive like we are. Why is driving Amalfi Coast on our bucket list? Well, we drive lots of things everywhere, all over the world, <laughs> and so specifically while well, driving for Tim. Not to, not to speak for you, but if you've been following us, I can. I'm sure you know who's excited about driving this beautiful car. If you would like to just come here and enjoy it, the bus is a really popular way for people to get around between these towns because parking is so limited and the streets are about as wide as one bus. Wow, that looks too cute to not go check out. Here comes the car. Part of the beauty of this tiny car. You got it. You're okay. You're okay. Just, just be safe forever. You're okay. Yeah. Nice. 
gonna say it's easy to park, but when it's really hard to shift in an old car. It it's easy make... to park, yeah, with a modern transmission. This, uh, on, this on a cliff. Is, is the brake even gonna be okay to park on this cliff? Yeah, we got rocks. Look at that guy's rocks. Yeah, rocks. Perfect rocks. Right. Very small rocks. Well done, well done. Okay, cool. Wait, how do you even get out of this thing? Oh, man. Oh my, is she wearing a trip travel gear backpack? Hmm, it smells like, um, it smells like fried shrimp or something. I think we're headed in the right direction. The trip day pack comes in seven colors, including the stunning rosewood red. Grab yours for just one easy payment of $19.95 with free shipping on Amazon.com. Deciding factor in where to get food today was definitely parking. Yeah, wherever we can park, we'll eat. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and forfeit 10 minutes of our day to wait for the restaurant that's packed down here. They have a 4-6. There are open restaurants over there. They have a 2-5. So there's probably a reason there's a wait here. <laughs> Show us the 2-5. Oh, it's so sad. I'm sure they tried so hard. Oh no. You gotta keep in mind, like, Yellowstone only hit a 4.9, right? So, like, <laughs> there's a critic for everybody out there. That's our strategy all over the world, just look for the busy restaurants. We don't usually refer to travel blogs that much because we feel like once you just want to spontaneously go, you kind of need a reservation because those places get so busy. So this is just our method everywhere. Little bit of trivia for you. Nobody has enjoyed an Aperol Spritz since 2015 without taking a picture of it first. It's just what we've been told. When in Rome, we love trying local food, and here we have a marinated anchovies. This is tasting. It's like the perfect salty fish, and the lemon, olive oil with. Um, what is this, maybe like chives even? It's like, it's basically an olive oil delivery system that's a little bit extra salty, so you tell me. Mm -hmm. Scorching, scorching hot. <laughs> that is fresh. fresh out of the but delicious, but scorching hot. <laughs> Potato and gnocchi. It is so good. That looks like a job to get into. That looks like work. You should have to work for your meal, especially when it's seafood. And I love, love the shellfish. I'm sitting next to the Mediterranean Sea. That's what I'm going to be eating. And when in Italy, I'm having risotto. So, well, we can start with the risotto here. Risotto. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. Mm. I love seafood. Oh. And um, risotto is one of those things that you have to make with care. It takes a long time. You have to stir it a lot. <laughs> Looks like I've got mussels, clams, prawn, shrimpies, octopi. Gang's all here. This seafood is amazing. Nothing is, well, first of all, the hair is back, so you know it's serious. Nothing is rubbery. Everything is like the flavor is so nice. And the risotto isn't overcooked. I think that this place deserves more better more better. I'm losing it. I'm in food heaven. This this deserves more than a four or six on Google. It was worth the wait.
That was an uncomfortable amount of food. We just pounded. Oh my gosh. I'm ready to go sit in a car for a little while. I don't, I think I'm, I can't go around these turns like this. <laughs> After I pound food, I like to do some nice strenuous activity uphill and then whip around some hairpin turns. Let's go. Oh my gosh, if it was so good though. It was so good. Hey, wait. You're coming with us. <laughs> No more joking around anymore. I came to play. Whoa! We're entering the beautiful coastal roads namesake Amalfi. Now we've heard it pronounced <laughs> different ways by Americans and we've definitely made the mistake too. I think it's more natural for us to say Almafi in English. <laughs> it is actually Amalfi. And if you really hang on the L, it'll come off more naturally on the tongue. Amalfi Coast. Amalfi. A Amalfi. <gasps> Another tunnel. I have heard it pronounced wrong for so long that when we went to Google this to kind of research the trip, I was spelling it wrong, putting it in a Google. I've never not heard Amalfi Coast. So here we are in downtown Amalfi and we're right by the, the port. If riding the bus doesn't sound exciting to you, you can take water taxis between all these towns so you can stay in a bigger town like this and just jump on a water taxi. Okay, we quickly turn off the main highway. We're going all the way up, up, up to the town of Ravello. I wouldn't say that the, this is not a performance sports car. I'm so excited to actually get to drive one of these after kind of seeing them all over the country since we've been here. Um, now a little bit in retrospect, much cuter to look at than to actually be driving around. 18 full ponies galloping uphill. No, 17. Seven, 17, we'll throw a pony away uh, for the years of wear and tear on the big old 499cc engine. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can you explain to us who don't know what 17 horsepower is? Picture, close your eyes, picture in your head a riding lawnmower. That's what we got going on in this thing, basically. And you can feel each and every one of those ponies just straining against the bit, trying to pull. But just look at that corner. Whoa! It is not fast or furious. Is this your way of saying I had too big of a lunch? <laughs> this is not the end of the road up here, but it's the end of the road for us. I swear, as soon as the camera is off, I'm just shifting. It's, it is literally Vin Diesel. As soon as the camera's on, I've never seen a manual transmission in my life before. Right? Right? Say yes. Okay.
doing it molto bene. So I think today is a success. Allora! Ciao! 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 Buonasera! Buonasera! Oh, how's it Tano? That's where we're staying, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, come here. Here. <laughs> Say hi. Oh. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> oh my God, I want to him so badly. <laughs> Say bye. That was an awesome long day, and no surprise, lots of driving. You'll probably be able to make it much further than we did if you're not stopping to vlog and drone yeah. and <laughs> the drive back and things down a little put bit. the camera down, pick it. Yeah, so you can make it much further. I feel like we got our fill today. This was so fun to just kind of like put on the costume and like do the thing. Um, Absolutely. We were yeah. getting lots of honks, lots of people waving, and everyone was like, you know, bravo! It was just like fun. People were taking pictures of us, and so if you want a similar experience, it was mostly Pepper. Was mostly <laughs> yes, Pepper's pepper. head sticking out the car <laughs> adds for a little bit of attention. Uh, would do again. Absolutely. As they drive by. I think the easiest, best way to do this would probably be on a scooter. It just, it's so much easier to get by on these narrow roads and you can probably cover a lot more ground. Parking is a huge thing here. And so what you would want to be doing is enjoying the towns along the way. We were filming so much of it, but you would want to be stopping so many times. So scooter parking would be a lot easier Lots to find. Easier, yeah. uh, if you will be here in the summer though, it would be very, very hot. So make sure you are bringing <laughs> some sun protection. <laughs> I think we can consider this crossed off. Thanks for joining in our third bucket list activity here on Crossing It Off. You might also like episode one, paragliding in Switzerland, or episode two, martinis in Monaco, where we played James Bond for the day. Hey, a quick message for our subscribers. Our Tim and Finn Instagram has been disabled tem temporarily, permanently. I Who knows? We're in the process of getting that back. If you follow us on Instagram, come follow me over at Finn was here for updates and hopefully we get that back soon. But hey, happy Halloween from the both of us. We are spending our Halloween in a special way this year and you will see that next week. <laughs>